Hi there, my name's Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to talk about broadband speeds in relation to Wi-Fi, which is wireless, wired connection and a power line adapter. Now, you already know about Wi-Fi and you already know about a wired connection. A wired connection is when you physically plug in an Ethernet cable, normally Cat5e or Cat6. Now, a power line connection is slightly different. There are adapters that you buy from places like eBay, Amazon, PC World, Argos, loads of high street shops sell them. And basically what they do is they use the electric wiring in your house, the mains wiring, to shove the ethernet signal all through the house. So you would have one adapter plugged in by your router and one adapter plugged in by your smart TV or your PC or your Xbox and it uses the mains wiring as a wired connection but it saves you running the cable in because obviously all houses uh, Nearly all houses have electricity, so uh, it saves an awful lot of time. But most people nowadays just use Wi-Fi because they think it's come a long way, it's really good, and Wi-Fi is good, and it's perfect for things like laptop, uh, for uh, tablets and your iPods. But in my opinion, if you've got a smart TV, a desktop PC, and things like Xbox and PlayStation, do the wired connection. But I thought I'd do you a video to actually show you the different speed tests. So I'm just going to be using speedtest.net and we're going to note down the results of the wireless, power line and wired just to see the download and the upload, just to see what we actually get. Now first of all I'm going to show you my setup. I have wired my house up for Cat6 so I've got it all already built into, you know, chased into the walls. But for the purpose of this video I'm just traipsing cables across the floor to make it easier to understand. Uh, so I'm going to show you the setup to begin with and then I'm going to do the testing. Okay, so down here we have my, uh, my desktop PC, I've just pulled it out for the moment for the purpose of the video and I've got nothing connected so we're going to be testing wireless to begin with. Now over here we have one of the power line adapters, obviously the other power line adapter is by my router. Now these are old, this one here is about 5 or 6 years old, this one is only an 85 meg one. You can now get 200 meg and 500 meg, uh, if you went to things like PC World they would all be 200 meg and also 500 meg. The prices come right down, 200 meg ones you can get just over uh, a twin pack for just over £20. So they've really come down in price. So the white cable is going to be the... Uh, the power line adapter cable. All the cables I've used are Cat6. Cat5e will work equally as well because remember these are just broadband speeds and the Cat5e cable will still exceed the broadband speed. So but in this video just for uh, continuity I've used Cat6 on uh, the wired connection and also the power line connection. Okay so that's that. Let me just uh, show you the uh, this black cable here. This will be the one that goes straight to my router. Straight across the floor here. Uh, in here is my Virgin Media router on the uh, 50, this is the Super Hub, I'm on the 50 meg service. Okay, so as we can see we've got uh, one Cat6 cable straight into one of the Ethernet ports down there. And the other Cat6 cable, this one here, goes up into the other power line adapter. So hopefully now that makes sense about the power line adapters. So you use a wired connection from your router into a wall socket and then it doesn't matter what wall socket you use in your house, you can use any other wall socket to plug in the other adapter and that will present the internet there. So uh, let's, get, uh, let's get testing. Right okay so we're going to do a wireless test to begin with. So let's just go over to begin test. Let's see what we get. This is just on speedtest.net. Okay, so we're getting just under four meg, three and a half meg. The upload. Upload's about three. Okay, let's just write those figures down. So wireless we're getting 3.58 and upload 3.06 okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the power line adapter yeah so over here power line adapter let's plug it in plug it into the ethernet port 
Okay, now we're going to have to connect to the wired. So let's, uh, we might just do it automatically. Settings. Wi-Fi, let's disconnect from Wi-Fi. Right, so we should be connected to the, uh, we should be connected to the power line adapter now, which is a wired connect connection. So let's test again. See what we get. There we go, much better, isn't it? Much better. So on the power line adapter, that's a 16.03, so that's 16 meg. And the upload's about the same, isn't it? 3.05, 3 3.05, okay. So, you can have a look here. So wireless uh, only three and a half meg download, power line adapter a 16 meg download. Remember I am getting 50 meg, so 50 meg should be coming to the router. Uh, actually, I know 50 meg's coming to the router because obviously I've been doing tests for the past few months. But uh, yeah, so on uh, wireless, you've got three and a half meg, power line adapter is 16 meg, which is much better. Both uploads are three meg. So now let's try the... Uh, black wire which is the one straight from the router so it's not using any of the mains wiring in the house so let's unplug that one let's get the black cable so now we're a wired connection cat6 cable straight into the router which is uh, by far going to be the best okay now let's see what we get now let's go to test again And there you go. So this is using the cable straight from the router. So what we got there, I'm supposed to be on a 50 meg service, but that's come through as 54 meg. And upload will probably be the same. The upload's always much, much slower. Again, that's the same as all the others. 3.05. Okay, so hold on. Just put this back up here. Yeah, so just as I thought, wireless is going to be the worst, followed by power line adapter, followed by wired. But can you see the difference there between the wired and the wireless? So if you were just relying on wireless, now I appreciate I'm quite far from under the stairs cupboard, but actually let me just show you, although I was a long way to walk, the under stairs cupboard is actually just the other side of this, of this wall here. Yeah, so it's not far. We're only actually talking about uh, maybe one, two, three. Basically, the router is only actually three meters away, but I appreciate it's actually going through an outside wall. So that's the reason why the speeds are so slow. If you were to, if you were to uh, have your router in the same room, those wireless speeds will be much, 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 much better. Obviously, the nearer you get to your router, the better the wireless speeds are. But Check out the wired speed. There's no arguing with that. So if you were using wireless, you would say, ah, oh, Virgin Media, ah, oh, you know, they're no good at all. But look, it's not Virgin Media, it's the wiring in your house, yeah? So what I would suggest is, always go for a wired connection, because then it just takes the headache out of just thinking, oh, is it the service provider? You know, is it Netflix that's not working properly? You know then that that cable, it's, once it's in, it's gonna be there. And if you've done it properly, it's just gonna last for years and years and years. You won't get any problems with it. But uh, if you can't be bothered to, to, or you're not able to put the wiring in your house, then look at power line adapters. They sell them all over the place. You know, check out Argos or Amazon or uh, PC World. They're not expensive and they will give you a good, good connection. So when it comes to your smart TVs and your PCs and your Xboxes, if do a speed test and if you're getting poor speeds, then look down the power line adapter route. Instead of just instantly blaming your service provider, you can do things yourself and it saves you having to go through those painful phone calls speaking to somebody that's just reading off a script. So uh, yeah, check them out. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, it really is eye-opening just to see the difference between the, the speeds when you use different, uh, different things in your home. So, uh, yeah, 
please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of videos on networking and telecom stuff and other how-to videos. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want any Ethernet cables, then uh, check out uh, mrtelephone.co.uk. I currently don't sell any of the power line adapters, but on my mymatevince.com website, which is also links via the Mr. Telephone website, then uh, I do have links to Amazon sellers that do sell these uh, power line adapters. So uh, have a look, see what you think. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye now.